Hi guys, this video is going to be in two parts. Part one is race day with the four cars above. So we've got the uh, Evo, the SZ, the BZ3 and the GLA. And part two will be me going over the details of all the problems I had and the alterations I made. So we're going to get straight into it now. Off we go with the racing. And right off the offset you'll notice the GLA is missing. I'll go into that at the end of the video. I have got some footage of it, but it's later on. So they're pretty even as you can see. And I've got some footage of them going around the tight corners. You can see the... Uh, BZ3 flies around and the other cars are pretty close. Uh, the Evo was the least manoeuvrable here. The SZ was very manoeuvrable, a little bit too sensitive. And the BZ3 was just intuitive. But you can see they're fairly close, but you know the BZ3 wins it easily. So you'll see them going down the straight next. And again, fairly evenly matched. I'd have to say straight line speed would actually go to the SZ. The uh, Evo is the most stable out of all of them in a straight line has its problems but not in a straight line. The uh, BZ3 was the easiest to manoeuvre, definitely the easiest to manoeuvre and the uh, most intuitive and I got the hang of it and pretty quickly got a fast lap with it. But I had lots and lots and lots of fun with these cars, all three of them were great to drive, all very different as well. And the Evo didn't flip this time at all as you can see and I'll go through some well, apart from the footage coming up later where there was one flip but that wasn't due to anything in particular apart from the heat having um, warped the track on the day. So you can see in this footage here it's kind of bouncing but it survives. Now the next shot which is also the opening shot you'll see and I think this is down to it being front engine definitely. It kind of hits nose down as it comes over the bump. So if you watch now this is where the track was raised in two places but just here it goes over the initial bump bang front engine goes and flips over I think just the extra weight at the front caused that to happen. That was the only real flip I had with it, otherwise it was pretty good. And certainly the modifications I made last time, which I'll go into in the next video, really, really helped and improved its stability. BZ3, you can see, it does take air, but it is very smooth and predictable. It just kind of composes itself, doesn't really feel it too much, and it never flipped. The SZ, which was actually the most composed over the bumps, when you see it flying along here, it almost looks like it didn't even notice the bump. It kind of just settles right back down and carries on. So here we have the GLA. This is the last footage and it was shot at the end of the day when I finally managed to get it to work. Now the GLA wasn't the problem, it was the steering servo saver, which I think I've sorted now. And uh, one of the issues I was having that it was just damaging the servo or the uh, steering tie rods were getting knocked off. But having uh, posted on a few Facebook groups, I've got the solution to that, which I will present in the next video. Otherwise, the GLA is a brilliant car. I think it's the most, it's like having the straight line stability of the Evo, but the uh, sort of sharpness of the BZ3. It's only real letdown, I think, it's not as sharp in the tight corners at the top of the circuit. But I think that could be down to the steering servo. So hopefully I'll get that sorted in the next video. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and drop me a like. And I'll see you next time, guys.